Uh, hey everybody, welcome to um, Ahad and Sebastian's uh, final project pre presentation. Uh, they've built the FundNet, it's a utility um, for managing donations uh, in higher education. Here they go. So, hi guys, I'm Ahad. Sebastian. Uh, we're both college students, Ahad soon to be, I am. And I was, you know, in school, wanted to work on some projects, wanted to explore some different things, and of course you need money to do some kinds of projects. And so we ran into, well, I ran into a problem, and I did a little more research digging into, you know, how do students get money for their projects? In my particular case, I wanted like a mentor, and I wanted money for a project. So the problems we identified were that students do not have access to small-scale funding for projects, and that alumni do not have access to intimate interactions with student projects and avenues for impactful small-scale donations. And that's because if an alumni donates less than $5,000 to Davidson, it gets pulled into a larger fund, on, and the school can decide on where that uh, money is used. Uh, and if you donate more than 5 k then you have slightly more control, but it's still not an, an intimate interaction with a student to fund a project. It's more larger scale. So this is the current interface that exists for alumni to donate to Davidson College. So, you know, they can select their kind of gift type, and then they have these kind of broad areas in which they can donate their money to. So this is even for greater than $5,000. This is for that category. Less than 5000 just goes into the, like the pool. So this is like how much control they can actually have. And so students, so since we're creating this uh, mainly for students posting projects to receive funding, right now students can receive funding from the career office, specific grants, uh, department funds, and also a failure fund for entrepreneurship. Yeah, so these are all in dollar amounts. And so they're all like pretty big and they are quite competitive. So a lot of students don't actually get qualified for most of these grants. And so once we had this idea, we decided to do some student market research. So 50% of Davidson students are in financial aid, so projects could be costly, and students obviously have diverse interests and passions that go beyond what they're learning in school, and faculty can only take on students with more experience who can actually publish papers with them, who are mostly upperclassmen, so um, freshmen and sophomores often get um, cut up. Yeah, and so students also want to learn from alumni in terms of real-world projects that go just beyond the curriculum. And then so we, uh, we also did some alumni market research just to make sure that there is a market for alumni to donate uh, to student projects. And these are some of the quotes that uh, stood out to us when we were talking to some. Um, and currently there's no accessible way to see student projects. I'd like to connect with students on projects that pique my interest. And I'd rather be able to have a choice on where my money goes. So I mean, we're just trying to uh, solve a transparency problem with donations. So after doing all the research, we came up with a solution that would address both the problems. So we would need an easy and direct way to collect, connect alumni and students over these projects. The projects have to be clear, impactful, and reasonable in order for alumni to want to donate. And alumni must be able to view them quickly and easily, otherwise they might lose interest because we're already trying to ask them for money. Uh, and so we built it. Um, the front end was built with React, Bootstrap elements, Material UI elements, uh, Node.js, our own custom CSS, and then the back end was built with Python, Flask, MongoDB, and the Stripe API, and we've deployed it on a uh, DigitalOcean server. Alright, so we can demo. So here we have our sign-in page. I'm going to sign in as um, a student that's already in the database. So a lot of these projects that you'll see in here are actually real. So we did conduct um, student surveys to see what kinds of projects they'd be interested in conducting. And so I logged in as Rupa, she's one of my friends, and she can see her profile. So, you know, here's her profile. She's interested in doing the pre-med track, she's a bio major, um, you know, all these things. And so her project as of now is that, so she had to review for the MCAT and she spent a lot of time reviewing for the MCAT. She realized there was no resources on campus to teach students like how to review for the MCAT. So she wants to offer free MCAT and medical school application resources, basically create like a study group, right? And so if we read more, she plans to buy you know 10 copies. I made up that book, cracking the MCAT, 
so like basically this is a longer description of what she's looking for in her project. And so we can view that in my projects. So I'm logged in as her, right? So we can also create a project. We can just, you know, Academy. We can just put in things. So you put your funding required. And we also have a category. So, you know, say it's science, right? So we can submit our project. It'll say, you know, I submitted. We'll go home. We'll refresh the page. And then we can view our project here. So we have the shorter description and a longer description with the goal. And so we can view it also within my projects. Now I'll log out. And then we'll show you. So that was a user perspective. We'll make a we'll do an alumni perspective. So we're gonna say that this alumni does not have an account, so we'll make a new account. We'll call it Mike Bloom, as some of you guys probably know. Mike and Gmail. So he's an alumni, we'll say he's a class of 2001 was here in sport. So now we just create a, we just created a new user, and so when we were doing the uh, market research with alumni, so many of them told us that they only want to invest in projects that uh, that pique their interest. So we have a little filter button say I'm only interested in science. So all the science uh, all the science projects come up. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see who made uh, the line or follow up robot. Oh, Sebastian. All right, so we have we have his bio and we have his email. So now let's say, okay, I'm going to donate to some actions. So we'll, let's see, how much is he asking for? Two hundred forty. Okay, let's just give him a hundred dollars. And so this uses the Stripe API that works right now. And this is a Stripe test card that's like given by Stripe to, uh, for test data. And so you can input your real card in. Rock. That's actually my project. I would want to get funding here. <laughs> Greg, I'm working at you. I'm working hard at it. All right. Well, you can uh, contribute, and then when you contribute, it actually sends Sebastian an email saying donation received, and the alumni donated hundred dollars to your project, and then it gives my email to him, uh, the alumni's email, in case he wants to contact the alumni. And then I can, and then he can also, you can also share projects. So let's say I just want to share this with Sebastian, just so. And so then, if you remember that, um, was it Craig? Mike, he was class of 2001. And so here we don't really have 2001 yet. So this is going to be another one. So hey, I think this theory is this project might pique your interest. So you can share with people in your class, right? If you see a project that you think they might be interested in, you know, like they were a math major, here's a math project, whatever, right? And so the bar is at 41%, and we have class 2001. So if we refresh this, the chart, uh, yeah, so 2001 is the yellow. So it updates, um, and the total donations increases, and then the bar progresses with the funding received. Yeah, so the leaderboard is just our way of gamifying uh, which class donated uh, the most amount of money. It shows, it's supposed to be some sort of, uh, sort of competition. And now uh, the the what's it called? The yeah, alumni can set a profile also, or, or, or a bio, and they can see my projects, which is all the project they, which is all the projects they've donated to. Oops. React is all the projects they've donated to. So, yeah, so they can follow up on the student, you know, they can see where their projects are, yeah. so they can continue to see them. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think that's about it. Oh, we can show, oh. yeah, I guess we can show the, straight, the transaction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so that was the transaction that just went through, um, 406, so the $100 that went through. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Cool.
No, that's great. I mean, you said it was immediately obvious. Like, yes. That's good. Um, then now, uh, do you have plans on actually pulling this for real? Yeah, so um, that's the plan. I'm going to bring it back to school, talk to the administrators, talk to people in my office, maybe change a few things, but yeah. Yeah, so right now he has funding from Davidson. Uh, and I'm going to, so I'm about to start college at Penn. And so I'm going to go talk to Penn about it. You should have something that at the end of the tax year or whatever gives the, um, yeah. the alumni a record of everything that they've invested in and the, the amount they've invested so they can offset it against the tax bill. Yeah, yeah that would work too. That's for uh, once we start working with the school. Because right now the money's going to like my pocket. <laughs> and then I'm ready to check it out. <laughs> no, it's but it's like, it's like once we talk to administration, then we can, then it works out. Because right now it goes to me, you know. So yeah. what, what other plans do you have besides like, you know, charitable donations? And Talk to the schools. Like, what are the features that you want? Yeah, so we we want to add like not only can students post projects, but uh, the school can post their initiatives also. Yeah. So, so say like they're building a new science building or something, and and I want to donate to that, so that that can be over their platform. We also want to make it also have like incorporate aspects of like networking into it. See, so you can like sort of see. Yeah, just like a different aspect of networking that you can add on to LinkedIn. You know, basically you can see by people, by, by projects, it can be like a new way to start a conversation between alumni and students. So hopefully we can like look through like actual users, if that makes sense. Like look through alumni to see what projects they've done to make it more like a social network. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it.